Hello learners, I am Dr. Poonam Agrawal. In this video, I will be talking to you regarding cofactors, coenzymes and prosthetic group and we will see what is the important difference in these terminologies. So, I would like to start with the terminology holoenzyme. Holoenzyme is complete functional enzyme which is made up of two component. There are two important component in holoenzyme. One is apoenzyme and another is cofactor. Apoenzyme is proteinaceous part of holoenzyme. Apoenzyme is proteinaceous part of holoenzyme and cofactor is non-proteinaceous part of holoenzyme. This cofactor, which is the non-proteinaceous part, may be an organic compound or it may be an inorganic metallic cofactor. So, we can divide the cofactors which are needed for enzyme action as organic cofactor or inorganic or metals metallic cofactor the organic cofactor is also called as coenzyme and inorganic cofactor is metallic cofactors so we can see that all coenzymes are cofactors but all cofactors are not coenzymes now these coenzymes are mostly vitamin derivatives and that too B complex vitamin series they give you organic coenzyme for action of enzyme and also vitamin C at times non vitamin compound like lipoic acid also act as a coenzyme lipoic acid is sulfur containing fatty acid which is needed for action of one of the enzyme in pdh complex and similar enzyme complex like alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex and branching amino acid alpha keto acid dehydrogenase complex so lipoic acid is also acting as a coenzyme in certain enzyme complexes but mostly coenzymes are vitamin derivatives when we talk about metals there are number of metals which act as a metallic cofactor which are needed for enzyme action for example copper cobalt, zinc, manganese, magnesium and so on. Iron, they are all important molybdenum. They all are important metallic cofactors. I will be giving you the list of enzymes where they are required as metallic cofactors. But first talking to you regarding the vitamin derivatives which act as a coenzyme. So in this context, Vitamin B1 is acting as a coenzyme in thiamine pyrophosphate form. Vitamin B2 provides FMN and FAT that acts as a coenzyme. Vitamin B3 coenzyme form is NMN and NAD and NADP. Vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, provides coenzyme A. Vitamin B6, its coenzyme form is pyridoxal phosphate most of the time. B7 is biotin. It is acting as biocytin. Active form is biocytin. B9 is folic acid. Its coenzyme form, active form is tetrahydrofolic acid which is acting as one carbon carrier 
then we have vitamin b12 which is cobalamin that's needed in methyl cobalamin form and uh, adenosyl cobalamin form for certain enzyme action so this is the list of various vitamins which are giving their coenzyme for certain reactions there's a long list of reactions where these coenzymes will be required so in nutshell what you have seen that the difference between the terminology cofactor and coenzyme all coenzymes are cofactor but all cofactors are not coenzyme because some of the cofactors are metallic cofactors and when i discuss you the coenzyme mostly they are vitamin derivative i have given you the list of vitamins which are acting as a coenzyme and their coenzyme form i have described and lipoic acid is not a vitamin it is sulfur containing fatty acid and at times it acts as a coenzyme and the list of enzymes where the where this acts as a acts as a coenzyme i have given you here now coming to metallic cofactor and uh, the copper the zinc the cobalt the manganese magnesium iron molybdenum there's a long list of metals which act as a cofactor for enzyme action here i give you the list of important enzyme which are needing copper they are celluloplasmin cytochrome oxidase cytochrome c tyrosinase lysyl oxidase allosynthase monoamino oxidase superoxide dismutase phenol oxidase zinc containing enzymes are alcohol dehydrogenase carbonic anhydrase carboxypeptidase alkaline phosphatase lactate dehydrogenase glutamate dehydrogenase arginine polymerase superoxide dismutase iron containing proteins this is the table not only talking to about iron containing enzymes rather i have collaborated all the proteins also at one place which are needing the iron most of the proteins in this list are non enzymatic like for example hemoglobin myoglobin they are not enzyme but they are proteins needing iron so this iron containing proteins can be classified as those proteins which are having heme those proteins which are having iron in iron sulfur complex those proteins which are having non heme iron so heme containing iron are sorry heme containing proteins are hemoglobin myoglobin cytochrome tryptophan pyrolase catalase peroxidase nitric oxide synthase they all are enzymes and hemoglobin myoglobin are non enzymatic proteins The iron sulfur complex is present in complex 3 of electron transport chain succinate dehydrogenase and xanthine oxidase and non heme iron containing proteins are phenylalanine hydroxylase aconitase transferrin ferritin and hemocytrin so long list of proteins which are requiring iron many of them they are enzymes and some of them they are non enzymatic proteins then the magnesium containing enzymes which are demanding magnesium all kinases enolase glucose 6 phosphatase manganese containing enzymes arginine pyruvate carboxylase mitochondrial superoxide dismutase glucosyl transferase pep carboxyl kinase long list of enzymes needing manganese glutamine synthetase hydrolase kinase decarboxylase transferase molybdenum is so these oxidases xanthine aldehyde sulfite oxidase selenium containing Uh, enzyme mostly in the form of selenocysteine these enzymes are having selenium as a part of their polypeptide so glutathione peroxidase diiodinase thioredoxin reductase glycine reductase these all are enzymes needing selenium for their composition itself so this is the list of enzymes needing various metallic cofactors so now i come to this slide once again so you have seen the cofactor coenzyme you have seen the various proteins enzymes which are needing various metallic cofactors and uh, you have seen which form vitamin is acting as a coenzyme now i would like to introduce you with one terminology that's called prosthetic group prosthetic group prosthetic group is it can be defined as tightly bound 
tightly and stably bound cofactor. Generally what happens most of the time the cofactors which I have described just now they are needed for enzyme action they come they make the enzyme act and they go away. But certain times the cofactors which may be organic or which may be metallic cofactors it remains bound with the enzyme they are tightly and stably bound with the enzyme they never leave the apo enzyme so they are part and parcel of the whole enzyme whether the enzyme is acting or not acting they are always the part of it such cofactors are called prosthetic groups now i give you the example prosthetic group the coenzyme which act as a prosthetic group and the metals which act as a prosthetic group mostly they are the metals which act as a prosthetic group but we have even coenzymes organic cofactors coenzymes which are acting as a prosthetic group so i will be talking about their examples so organic factor which is acting as a prosthetic group number one example biotin as a part of carboxylase enzyme number two adenosyl cobalamin as a coenzyme as a prosthetic group for methyl melonyl methyl melonyl coe isomerase or mutase enzyme So this is an important example where organic compound act as a prosthetic group. We have other examples also. For example, when we talk about PLP, it is acting as a prosthetic group for transaminase action. In addition, thiamine pyrophosphate, FMN, FAT, they also act as prosthetic group for respective enzymes. Metals acting as prosthetic group means metal is always bound with its counterpart apoenzyme and that time such enzymes are called metalloenzymes. If metal is just coming and going and the enzyme is functioning it becomes a metal activated enzyme but if metal is the part and parcel of the hollow enzyme it is never leaving the hollow enzyme it becomes metallo enzymes i give you the example the iron the copper as a part of cytochrome oxidase because cytochrome oxidase is having heme and uh, it's an integral part of cytochrome oxidase and heme is having iron and copper in cytochrome oxidase so it's a metalloenzyme another example where iron as a part of heme is acting as a prosthetic group for catalase and peroxidase enzyme zinc acting as a prosthetic group for carbonic anhydrase enzyme carbonic anhydrase enzyme carbonic anhydrase enzyme so these are metalloenzymes where metals are acting as a cofactor they are always the integral part of holo enzyme so it is not that prosthetic groups can only be metals majority number of times they are metals but even organic compound can act as a prosthetic group i have given you the beautiful example like biotin adenosyl cobalamin which is b12 having adenosyl moiety with it then pyridoxal phosphate and which is needed for transaminase action then some other coenzymes like thiamine pyrophosphate mfmn and fed also act as a prosthetic group so this is the discussion on these topics and uh, for further detail on the various reactions where vitamins are needed as coenzymes you're supposed to see a different video which is 
targeting that thank you for more such videos on uh, important topics in biochemistry you can subscribe my, my channel dr poonam agrawal thank you very much